The Bride of Christ is on Women, second episode. If you haven't seen the first episode, there is a link to the first episode in the description box or comments. The book of Galatians, chapter 4, verse 26, Apostle Paul said, What Jerusalem which is above is free? which is the mother of us all. So the bride of Christ is the Jerusalem, which is the mother of us all. As I always say, a literal building can never be the mother of us, or the mother of us all is clearly a person. The book of Jeremiah chapter 23 verse 6 says in his days Judah shall be saved and Israel shall dwell safety and this is the name whereby it shall be called the Lord our righteousness so this he that shall be called the Lord our righteousness is Jesus and Jesus which is the last Adam, is on man. Now let us move on to Jeremiah 33 verse 16. The Bible says, In those days shall Judah be seen, and Jerusalem shall dwell safety. And this is the name whereby she shall be called the Lord our righteousness. Now we just read that he shall be called the Lord our righteousness. But when it comes to the she beings the Lord of our righteousness, everybody just say it's not one person, it's a group of people. So you expect a group of people to be called a she wishes is the Lord our righteousness. So this group of people is now whose righteousness since everybody is claiming to be the bride of Christ so they are whose righteousness. This is confusion all the way. The bride of Christ is one woman and when you see that Jesus, when the Bible says, the land is married Israel, is the married stuff like that. It is a metaphor, the bride of Christ is clearly one woman and this Jeremiah 33 verse 16 is a prophecy about the bride of Christ. She is the law of righteousness because she is God. She is the Holy Spirit, the only begotten daughter of the Father. God praise the Lord, hallelujah. She is the one that was to get married to Jesus. In the beginning, so in the beginning they already exit. God the Father made a marriage or if son Jesus Christ so get married to who then the world has not been created. He made a marriage for his son to get married to his daughter but the daughter declined. She wasn't ready and God respected a decision. The Lord, brothers and sisters, let's move on. Let me ask you a question. How many of the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ call themselves the bride of Christ? None the Bible says in the book of John. Chapter 3 verse 29 He that had the bride is the bridegroom but the friend of the bridegroom, who is standed 
and heard him rejoice greatly because of the bridegroom's voice this is my joy therefore is fulfilled clearly stated the person that has the bride is the bridegroom but the friend of the bridegroom meaning he is not the bride why do you think now that you are the bride of christ you are not clearly not the bride of christ the bride of christ is the holy spirit on woman holy spirit incarnate the one begotten daughter of god she is not incarnate as the rib of christ but originally she is the only begotten daughter of the father god song of solomon chapter 1 verse 2 The Bible says let him kiss me with the kisses of his slip for your love is better than when now people are saying this is the love that God Jesus Christ have for these us Jesus Christ wants to be intimate with us and stop So you expect Jesus Christ to be intimate with 1 billion men and including children and pregnant women and you understand Jesus Christ is clearly going to be kissing his bride I don't see how this involves any group of people let him kiss me so people will be like this is clearly for the source how is it for the source he clearly states here that he let him kiss me with the kisses of his slip for your luck is better than when so the bride of christ and jesus christ are going to be kissing is other that is so romantic i don't see how this concern what you expect jesus christ that is a man to be kissing his fellow man jesus christ is not a homosexual song of solomon chapter 2 verse 14 oh my god that in the club of the rocks in this in the sequence of the stars now you will be like whatever but the bible clearly says here that the drop is the bride of christ so that drop that this senate on jesus christ which is the holy spirit is the bride of christ the only begotten daughter of god shams 45 daughter of the king the book of luke chapter 20 verse 35 says but they wish shall be accounted worthy to obtain the world that's what and the resurrection from the dead neither married nor are giving in marriage the book of micah 4 verse 8 and the flock the strong old of the daughter of zion unto the shall it come even the first dominion the kingdom shall come to the daughter of jerusalem who is this daughter the only jerusalem the bride of christ the dome of rock so the kingdom will come to her period but they will be like the angels in heaven but jesus christ and his brother which is the only begotten of the daughter of god the only begotten daughter of god they are going to get married and when they get married the after their wedding in heaven that is when the rapture is going to take place then the people will be 
raptured will be the guest of the wedding. Let's just read one last chapter before one last Bible verse before I wrap up. Let me Revelation chapter 19 verse 9 and he said unto me write blessed are they which are called unto the marriage supper of the Lamb. And he said unto me these are the true son of God. So those who will be called to the marriage supper to the marriage reception they are guests of the wedding. Thank you all for listening. God bless you.